to show off my NES PC. Switch it on and just show you the cable coming out of there is my controller. Uh, currently, I plan on putting USB ports at the front, but otherwise, it's about 90% done. I'll just show you that boot in there. Let's give you some type of idea. And replace the Windows XP logo with the Nintendo logo. Uh, the BIOS itself is completely blank, so you can't really tell until it's booted that it's a PC. And obviously, the controller is still connected. Uh, the hardware inside the machine is an AMD A4 5-phase processor, which incorporates graphics as well. Uh, the machine itself is run off HDMI, as you can see. Uh, at the moment, this is just booted, and it will be booting into Hyperspin in a moment. There we go. Here we go. In terms of the games I've got installed on there at the moment, I've got four ROM sets for most consoles, all the popular ones, obviously. I'll just give you an idea that's actually working. Uh, so what should we choose today? Something from the Super Nintendo. Let's get a few moments. And these are all the yeah, ROMs are obviously yeah, I've got. Select a good one. One of these will do. I'll do. Donkey Kong Country. Here we go, that should be loading up now. Obviously, I've already played this before. Okay. There we go. Right, let's go back to another one. So let's press in these. Let's choose something else. Let's try main this time. Obviously, you can see there's a lot of games on this, so it's going to jump straight to my favourites pretty much. No, why not something cheesy? in there. Let's set some coins. Hey, <laughs> 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 